Okay, so what's good, people? That's right. I got a tournament replay. I know it's been actually. Let me turn up this music, man. It's it's just a little. It's just a little too quiet. Let me turn it up a little bit. But yes, I'm here today with a tournament game live, not a replay. This is Crash and Boom Bang, our very own CBB, man. You know, a, a legend in the game. I've known CBB for like 10 years. One of the strongest players ever, you know, after after myself. But he's one of the strongest players ever. And he's in this tournament. I think this is called the Smoke Gun Championship League or something like that. It has some powerful name because it's a champion. It's, it's a champion battleground. So that's why CBB is here. He's playing against someone named ODR. Um, they both have some pretty cool RU teams. I don't play RU too much. I actually... Uh, I only played it last uh, in some on some ladder game or something like that, but I don't mind the tier. In fact, I think it's quite entertaining to watch. CBB always likes these lower tiers. I don't think he likes Gen 8 OU like that, so this is cool. He actually sent me this team yesterday because he was like, yo, I'm using some crazy HO shit. You got to watch my game live. And so I said, fuck it. I'll do you one better. I'll have to record it. But thank you guys for the love you showed me on my last two videos. It's been a really long time since I posted two in one day, especially two vids that long. But I'm feeling very motivated to post again. I'm getting more uh, mobility in my body and all that stuff uh, post-surgery. So I'm feeling really, really good. Going to keep on posting, streaming. Even yesterday, I streamed two times too. We got a lot planned. That's all I can say. We have so much planned. So just keep your eyes peeled. And uh, let's let's hop into this matchup. So I saw CBB's team yesterday, and uh, he showed me a couple sets. I know the Cloister is Shell Smash, completely special, which will be terrible because he has Melodic. Um, he has a Sash Lucario. Which looks like it 6-0s this team. Um, Life Orb or Sash. He has a Flygon. I don't remember that thing. I remember the Tyrantrum is very cool. The Tyrantrum is Dragon Dance Scale Shot. Uh, which is very interesting. Um, basically, you DD and then you scale on uh, whoever. The thing is, he doesn't really get an opportunity to set up on much barring Crobat. If Crobat doesn't have Taunt. Everything else kills it. Leaf Storm kills it. Super Power Earthquake kills it. Ice Beam does 80%. Earthquake or Heavy Slam will do the job, and then obviously Close Combat from Heracross will do the job. So something to think about there is like, how much, uh, how much is that thing going to be able to get in? That being said, if something like this is banded, uh, isn't this a big threat to ODR? I feel like he has more of a bulky offensive build, personally. Like, that's, that's what his team looks like, right? Why else would you run Melodic? You could run an offensive team with these six. You really could run an offensive team with these six. Have Steelix just be like the Rocks pivot, and then even have Melodic be offensive or something. But this thing lives the Life Orb EQ and dies to Life Storm. Uh, Life Storm. <laughs> dies to Leaf Storm in response. I feel like that was a pretty good trade for ODR. Uh, just because, like, I mean, again, he didn't have anything that could take a Leaf Storm. But, yeah, I mean, maybe that was Sash lead. That's what I'm assuming, seeing as we don't see any Life Orb or nothing like that. We don't see any recovery. I, I've never really seen... I've only used the Defensive Rose Red one time in my life in a, in a past-gen lower tier. Personally, I like using... Um, just sashed or uh life orb or whatever the case may be okay so he goes into this to set up i completely understand this play because you can dd on the uh you can dd on the sleep powder if odr is the truth he'll go hard into his scarf or heracross but I, I don't know i don't know you think he's really built like that you think he's built like that we may just find out but we get the proper chip on rose late Ro <laughs> rose raid slash taking care of its scarf the only oh oh it's over it's over it's over this man lost this man lost this man lost because now another dd comes out right like i i like now another dd comes out and all the scarfers are, are slower all the scarfers are slower one of hera or darm is well here's the thing here's the thing here's the thing here's the thing cbb is pretty weak to uh it's still pretty weak to licks however he'll get the necessary chip on licks to where Flygon or Mimikyu can win. Uh, I mean, sorry, not Flygon. Dewblade or Mimikyu can win. If he gets the necessary plus two uh, superpower or whatever on Steelix. This shit gets close combat. The only issue is obviously you close combat Steelix and then, you know, you're dead. So, I mean, yeah. CBB's team doesn't even have rocks. So this Rose Raid will be back. Seeing as uh, the there are some things that are priority list on this team. Um, okay, so he just scale shots off the rip. Oh, because he sashed. He sashed. Right, 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 right. Wait, wait, wait. He won. He won. What am I saying? He's fucking sashed. Like, if he's sashed, then I completely understand why he did what he just did. Right, 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 right. He has to be sashed. I think he's sa Actually, he's not sashed. He's Lumberry. He has to be Lumberry. You wouldn't DD in front of that shit and get sleep powdered unless you're Lumberry. I don't know. I'm having trouble figuring out what he might be. Um, he goes into Licks, though. This was something that we all knew would happen next. Um, that's why I didn't understand why he didn't just DD again. Because, like, he just died at 54. That's why I don't understand why he didn't DD again. Um, he goes into Trance, the uh, the Lucario. I had SD here. I had SD here. 
um i'd sd here probably i know it's like an insane insane play but actually would i maybe odr thinks he already has a bag between crobat milo and darmanitan because he has a up on sacks i wouldn't be too surprised um I wouldn't also be too surprised if he did a boss play, like go hard into Heracross, but I don't know if he's built like that. Okay, so he just stays in and sacks his licks. Um, the thing is, again, this is Sash Luke. This is Sash Luke. So if you go into Darm or you go into Heracross, you're going to lose that mon. Iron Tail will kill Heracross at minus one. Darm is just going to die to close combat. Crobat is a is a pretty good... Uh, it's, it's interesting, because this is not Life Orb Lucario, so plus 2 E-Speed does not kill Heracross. It does not kill Darmanitan, even though those two have very, very bad, uh, very, very bad defense stats, you know? I mean, we know those things are very, very frail on the... Okay, so I think here he's going to U-turn, personally, into Crobat. I don't see what else you do. Uh, from CBB's perspective, you just SD regardless. Um, I'm pretty sure. But yeah. Assuming this is Sashed. I think you SD regardless from CBB's position. I don't believe anything on this team is helmet. How could you even afford to run helmet on anything on here? Barring melodic. And then he'd be able to plus two E speed, E speed. And then get the heavy hit on melodic. Oh, he actually went for CC. He didn't even SD. Well, at that point then, okay. I don't know why he didn't SD personally. I feel like uh, maybe he just really wanted to confirm the Darm kill. But I feel like if he SD'd there, then he would have killed either Darm or... Melodic or Crobat, one of those guys would have been sacked. I guess Crobat is the least useful on this team, which is what he was afraid of being sacked. I'm only afraid of Melodic in the back, right? Because Melodic, if it has Haze, it, it actually walls the remaining uh, the remaining four all lose to it 1v1, like very easily. Um, Crobat comes in now. Well, I think this is a very easy switch into uh, the blade, right? I don't, I don't see what else you'd do. You want to keep this thing for your close combat later on. Uh, I'm pretty sure at least... Okay, so he just goes for the 30% chip. That shit is garbage weak. I guess he just wanted chip for his own Deblade slash Mimikyu. But here's the thing. Here's where I'm like, how does he beat this now? Like, that's why I don't understand how this gets beaten. This thing looks like it's really going to sit around. Um, especially if the rest of his his guys are sashed uh, and not life orb. Like, this has, has to be like Woodhammer or something. You know what I mean? However... We will see what happens. We will see what happens. This thing does have to have haze to be a uh, to be the threat that I was uh, calling it. It does have to have haze, and it has to burn all of its scalds. So, so he flip turns out there into Crobat. Nice play. Crobat cannot Oko this. Um, so, sneak is pretty. I mean, shadow claw is pretty free unless it's sharp beak, and I feel like it's boots because they're all boots, and it took thirty from. But I don't know. I don't know. I obviously don't know all the calcs to this shit. Like, this this stuff can obviously get pretty wacky. If I had to guess, though... I don't know. If I'm CBB, I just go for Shadow Claw, like, easily. The dude has Flip Turn, right? Which means, wait, he doesn't have Scald? Which is... If this thing is only Flip Turn, does that mean it's walled by a Cloyster? You can only Flip Turn Cloyster? Bitch getting plus six, hitting you with a Hydro? Does he not have haze? Does that mean it's 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 lights out when the blade comes in? Like I'm trying to I'm trying to put this together. I'm trying to put this together the best I can. Um, is it not haze? What is what does Milo run? Like I don't I don't have melodic teams, bro. Like I don't run this shit. Yeah, see, I don't have melodic teams. I know it gets okay. So oh, he has did again. Perfect, perfect, perfect. I didn't even think about that. I didn't even think about that. Of course he's gonna SD again because of the uh, hair crush in the back. I didn't even think about SD again. Obviously, that makes like a thousand percent more sense. True, that makes a thousand percent more sense. Bat dies. Um, I'm trying to find out if the uh, the cross is really scarfed or not. Oh, it's orbed. It's orbed. That's 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 interesting. If it's orbed, um, that's really interesting. If it's orbed, because now it's gonna come down to he's gonna trade here. Sneak to sne sneak to shadow shadow whatever. Heracross is getting sacked here. He's going to go for the final Melodic Sweep. I didn't think this would be Life Orb. I wanted to live anyway, but he knocks off, which means the Cloyster smashes six times. And then, uh, yeah. I mean, again, the Cloyster's Ice Beam Hydro Pump. It's not able to kill, uh, it's not actually able to kill, um, Melodic, unfortunately, for CBB. However, maybe it can do the proper damage to where, like, it does. Would you want Flip Turn and Scald? Hell no. Hell no. 
Your Honor, that is no set. Maybe it is. I, pff, fuck if I know. But it looks. If the melodic is walled by the blade, but that kind of changes the point of melodic. What is this defensive melodic doing if the only thing it can do is flip turn out versus versus shit? Like it's no scald, no hypnosis, no ice beam, no toxic, no haze. Like I'm having trouble believing it lacks all of those options. It needs to have at least uh, scald or haze. Otherwise, it will lose to the blade, right? Like we we understand that. If it's not haze or scald, it's going to lose. ODR is probably wondering if he goes hard into melodic or not. Um. I don't know why he knocked. I mean, I, I do know why he knocked his scarf, but I don't understand why he's a uh, scarf, I guess. Yeah. Because look, now you just smash again. Oh, he ice beamed. Oh, he didn't even smash again. Why? Because this is like, you have to freeze this shit. CBB doesn't even have Rock Blast. It's fully special. Damn, regular would have turned up on this guy. Just smash again, bro. What are you doing? He should have smashed again on the knock. Although. Okay, so it is scald. It is scald. Fuck. Then I don't think CBB. Well, this, this, it all comes down to this. It all comes down to this right here. If this man gets burned here on Shadow Claw and then, uh, and then wins. That's really it. No! No! That is the game, folks. To be honest, it's 30% plus another 30%. It's It makes sense. Damn. He did miss his Leaf Storm, too, for however much that mattered, but damn. That's how the game goes. Pretty good game. I don't I don't have anything to uh, to really complain about. I, I enjoyed watching this. I think both guys played pretty smart. Um, ODR, he got hit by that leaf storm miss in the beginning but he was smart knowing all he has to do is keep melodic and he did i mean again the odds for cbb like i mean he had pretty decent luck throughout the game but in the end scald burn but and then i guess the the cloister got burned too but yeah shit happens tough game but i mean i wouldn't say he got robbed or anything like that it's just that is what scald is right but honestly pretty good uh pretty good game pretty good game i do still think he should have smashed again on the second knockoff so he could get off that 50% Hydro on Melodic. I think that maybe would have been better. But other than that, it is what it is. My man CBB is like 2-1 and one now. I think this is his first loss. Sad, but he'll bounce back. He's a very strong battler. Very strong battler. Thank you guys for watching. Thank you for enjoying the video. I know it's a short one, but hopefully, you know, I'll have something else later on today. Streaming all that good stuff. Thank you for watching. Let me know in the comments below what you want to see. And uh, I'll see you guys soon. Peace.